Hey guys, I'm Steve from Brothers, and today I'm in the tech center because we're going to take this faded carpet out of this beautiful 65 Chevy truck and replace it with a fresh one. And along the way, we're going to show you guys how you can do this at your house, give you some tips and tricks to make it easy when you're doing your own project on your classic truck. And we're also going to be installing a sound dinner kit as well as a heat insulated jute padding. And we'll talk about some of the reasons you're going to want to consider doing that when you do your project. Um, this is an easy job. It's probably a scale of 1 to 10. You're looking at a 2 or a 3. Might take you some time though, so set aside 2 to 3 hours so you can take your time, do a really nice job so it comes out looking like a professional upholstery shop did it. Now, and we can talk about some of the tools that it takes. These are typical tools you'll have anyway at your house. Uh, heavy duty pair of scissors, box knife, uh, a couple of Phillips screwdrivers, I use these to take the sill plates off, but also like to use them to poke through the carpet and the padding to find my fixed uh, mounting locations for my seat, seat belts, etc. Um, wrenches, obviously you're going to need those to take the seat out, and something to mark the carpet with once you find those holes. So, also your peripheral items like sill plates are important. You don't want to put a brand new carpet in there and then put rusty old sill plates on, so have some new sill plates, have some new part, pedal pads, as well as if you've got a floor shift, make sure you've got a shift boot. And we've got some spray adhesive here to hold everything down. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get that seat out of there. We'll get this project going. Okay, actually before I get too far carried away with anything, I'm going to take our carpet and I'm going to pull it out of the box. It's one of the first things you want to do because it's been in there for a bit and it kind of gets molded into that box kind of shape. But we're going to unfold it here and that's going to make it easier for us to install it in a little bit. Also, I'm going to put it out in the sun and that's going to help it get warmed up. It'll make it more malleable and easier to get into all my nooks and crannies. Old carpet is out. We got to get this cleaned up because of course nothing sticks to dirt but dirt. So we're going to get all of the grease out of here, any of the padding that's left over, and we're going to get this cleaned up well. Then I'll go ahead and show you how to glue down our sound deadening. Alright, my floor is nice and clean. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay down my sound deadening. Now I do this on every car I build because I want to make sure I can hear my stereo but not the road noise. If you just leave this bare, you get that tinny kind of noise out of it. But we can lay these down and you can put them over every inch, but you don't necessarily need to. If we use our map right here, we'll put them where they're strategically needed and then we'll be able to get the most mileage from these as possible. If you don't have a roller, just grab yourself a socket and use that. All right, here's our insulated padding. This is going to keep our cab comfortable all year round. You're living where it's cold, it's going to keep you warm. You're living where you're warm, it's going to help keep you cold. So when we lay this down, I'm going to get it all laid out where I like it and make sure it's all laid out nicely. If I've got something like a, a shifter here, I'm going to go ahead and place this up get my approximate hole and I'm just going to cut it out large enough to be able to test and make sure that I'm in the right spot before I enlarge the hole. Now I'll make sure the rest of everything looks good and I'll show you what's next in just a second. This insulation is right where I want it. When I put it down permanently though, I'm going to fold it back just a bit of it. I'm going to make sure I get enough of the glue on the floor but also on my insulation right here. And when I lay this down, I'm just going to roll it forward nice and slow like this so I don't get any air pockets or wrinkles in it. Then I'll lift up the back half. I'll do the same with it. Then I can get my edges. We've got our insulation all laid down, but we're not done yet. We're going to take it one step further and we're going to use this tape and we're going to seal up all of our edges like you can see right here. So this is a two-sided tape. You lay it down like this 
while you're pulling the backing off the back of the tape. And we'll lay that down and now nothing is gonna get through to this. All right, before we lay down our carpet, we're gonna wanna find our old holes for our seats or anything else like seat belts. So I've got a buddy down below poking up through the holes. It's the easiest way to do it. Once we've found our two holes there, I'm gonna cut out a generous area so I don't have to fight too hard to find them in the future either. All right, this is fresh from the sun and it's nice and warm. That's gonna make it a lot easier to manipulate around and get in the right spot. Once I've got everything centered perfectly, then we'll see about cutting out stuff like our shifter arm here. So we wanna make sure that our carpet is centered. Now in this particular case, we're lucky and we've got this hump right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back the carpet without moving it because we just got it where we want it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray the glue on my center here. And after I'm sure that this is good and secure, I can work the rest of my carpet from the middle out. From here, I'm gonna be cutting my carpet. That's gotta be real careful. I'm gonna use this gutter right here that's just above our sill plate area, and then I can tuck the carpet into that and use the razor to cut it and get a nice straight line. When I get to the edge here, I'm gonna actually leave the rest of this carpet and I'm just gonna tuck this into the corner so I get as much noise suppression out of every bit of fabric I get. All right, our carpet's just about done, but before we get too far, we're gonna go ahead and take care of some extra things. We're gonna get some speaker wires. Now, we don't even have any speakers even going back here, but we're gonna go ahead and get these up there now because they're gonna be a lot easier to do than in the future. So I'll route this baby up underneath and up to my radio. Here, I'm gonna tuck it underneath the carpet, and I'm gonna make sure that I'm away from any of the screws that are gonna hold my sill plate down. And don't forget your dome light wire or any other wire you might have for boom boxes or your um, gas gauge or anything like that. Just make sure they are away from anything that's gonna cut them. We need to find out where the holes to bolt our seat down before we put it in, not after. We're going to get a nice pokey tool like this. I'll get a buddy, he'll stick it up from underneath, and then I'll get my razor and I'll just cut in an X, and that's it. All right, so now I'm gonna put my sill plate on. You wanna to remember to put this on after you put in your seat because we don't wanna get our nice new chrome all scratched up when it's going in. I get me a nice spiky like this. I find my holes. Then I'll go ahead and put the screw in. I'm just gonna get it in there four or five turns. I'll make sure I get them all in. And then when I tighten them up, I'll bring it all down nice and even like I was tightening the head of an engine. Now don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, whatever else they got these days because we're on that too.